things are not like only wealthy people can have. Right. So we got, let's say we got rest, that's, and then you got another. Trust in divine power okay. is all through those scriptures. Yes. And going right back to the, the, the scripture you opened with in Psalms 25, for you are God of my salvation. Yes. And it's talking about trusting God in his ways. And I believe that he instituted health laws just as he instituted moral law yes. right there when he created mankind and put him in the Garden of Eden. So disease today is rampant in this world. Why? Because they are violating those basic yes. principles. Right. So let's talk about each one briefly okay. today and how we can educate the people what simple things they can do. So let's just start with the N for nutrition. Okay. What's the best diet you think that people should follow based on what God showed us. Well, if you want to go with what God says is the best diet, before sin and after sin, obviously before sin, he gave them fruits, grains. After yeah. sin, he gave them vegetables. Right. Uh, but also in Exodus, mm -hmm. obviously he gave them manna, you know, and he gave them the best diet yes. so they could prepare their minds again because right. they'd been in Egypt, which kind of represented sin. Right. Canaan represented heaven. I mean, and the wilderness represented an experience. So right. even after sin, he was saying, I want to get my people cleared up. Right. So obviously, if you go with God, then nutrition, I would say for me, would be that diet that number one would digest well. They mm -hmm. would be things of the field, right. things of the tree, So fruits. a plant, a whole plant-based diet. Now yes. let's give them something. We're going to give you something that you can really grip, you know, bite into okay, today. Okay, good, good. That, that these foods that God instituted in the Garden of Eden are rich in many different things. Okay. One is antioxidants. Antioxidants can prevent cancer. Okay. They can keep you from aging. They can prevent chronic disease. The other thing Do is... they help skin? Yes, hair, it, skin, every, okay. everything. Vitamin C is the glue that holds your body together. Come on, the kiwi is high in vitamin C and the oranges and the rest of the uh, nutrients. So what would be high in a, in a, antioxidants? Antioxidants, your, your fruits, okay. you know, and the vegetables. Carrots have beta carotene. You know, you have zinc and pumpkin seeds. Okay. You got vitamin C in the kiwi. The strawberry is one of the highest antioxidant foods, and we know the blueberry has some fantastic phytochemicals called oligomeric proanthocyanidins, and okay. they're OPCs. And Why do they have to make these names so big? It's no one understands because it's them. a big God, you know. <laughs> and he's got That's a, that, I've never heard that answer before, but that, I'll, I'll go. With, I'll go along with you. But think about this. So in the garden, okay, we see he gave plant food. But yes. but I love to expound on that. He gave antioxidant-rich, fiber-filled nutrients with different colors. And I like to say this too: three reasons that God gave you these beautiful plants. One, they were pleasant to the eyes. Yes. They were good for food. Yes. And third, that they were our medicine. Yes. So God gave us food to enjoy. It was tasty to yeah. the mouth. <clears throat> but we're finding today that they're high in antioxidant. They're high in phytochemicals. And just like yesterday, or yesterday, <laughs> A while back when we right. were doing the presentation yes. and talking about when they cried out for the flesh pods, yes. there was onions, leeks, and garlic. Well, I was reading about allosulfites. Okay. Allosulfites are the phytochemicals in garlic and allicin that makes it have such an antibiotic uh, effect on human beings. So you have a tomato that's red pigment. You have a watermelon that's red. You have a beet that's red. And Harvard comes out and says and years ago that, that the red pigment in the tomato can prevent prostate cancer by 35 to 45%. So in the pigment, the isoflavones in the fruits and the vegetables, the color has a biological effect on human organisms. So it's not just pleasant to the eyes. When God does something, he does everything, uh, no, nothing is wasted. All things work together oh, for good. Okay. And, and that's even the seed yes. in the grapefruit, grapefruit seed extract. The okay. white pine on, on the white pine tree, you're having pycnogenol. Yeah. You're finding all these phytochemicals in the leaves, the ginkgo biloba for the brain, the olive leaf extract is an antipathogen. It's incredible what they're wow. finding today, but here's what I wrote down. Okay. Isoflavones, phytoestrogens, and lignans, they found now that breast cancer can be caused from a deficiency of iodine. Wow. So women are starting to supplement iodine. Who would have thought? But All right. now, now, iodine is there, and I could be off because you're, you're, I mean, you've been at, this is your thing, yeah. and I love health, but I'm not as deep as you, and I just know that I can trust God, and whatever he right. tells me to do, I just do, but do, do beets 
have iodine? There's or probably what, some iodine some in, in, beets, in beets. I would say what in vegetables. What would be a good food that would have uh, well, good iodine? Uh, is it green? Uh, uh, well, the one that uh, I really uh, like is kelp, a sea okay. vegetable. Okay, kelp. And kelp and dulse are very high in iodine, and you only need like 150 micrograms, which is a very small amount. Yes. But think about it. They added you know, they add fluoride and they added iodized sea salt. That okay. was the way that they were getting a lot of it to the people to prevent goiter. Yes. And so the emphasis here is, this is what was so cool that I studied last night, that phytochemicals, isoflavones, phytoestrogens, and lignans make up phytochemicals. Okay. The soy has genistein. Genistein is an anti-cancer product, all right? Okay. But what blew me away is that when you then go to that phytochemical, say lignin and flax, and you take sulforaphane and broccoli, that they're actually blocking agents, suppressing agents, and combined blocking and suppressing agents that they slow cancer growth and they inhibit tumor formation. Wow. Isn't that huge? That's, that's amazing. Isn't it? So, so when yeah. I look at my lunch, I don't just think, oh, that's going to taste like this. My mind automatically goes iodine, zinc, sulforaphane, lycopene, and 425 other carotenoids. So, so, the, so the bottom line is on the end for nutrition. <laughs> we, we can keep going a whole yeah, show on this one. Show, but to me, is, it, is that we, don't have to, we don't have to know. I mean, you've done this for yeah. years. Simple. I just Let know me make that it I'm simple. trusting God and whatever he's already taught us, right. his best diet. So it's simple. Just eat fruits, grains, nuts, vegetables. Boom. That's and, pretty and simple. And I like to say it to people like this, especially with diabetics. Whole plant foods in whole forms and move, move, okay. move. Now, I want to okay. just mention one more thing, too. We'll get on to exercise and we'll mm -hmm. keep going. We might not get everything done, but um, I know that people will be calling in. Um, we have books at... Um, mm -hmm. Remnant Publications, health books by many different authors. I know that 3ABN has books by the, um, you know, I, I can't think of all the yeah. ones that they have, but I know they do health uh, <coughs> cooking classes. I know they have health books there. I know that Amazing Facts with Weimar, they sell health books. In other words, right. you can get online and the programs that you right. see on 3ABN that you're watching right now, there are many ministries that um, have books that can help you. So, because we can only do a real short segment here, but right. get in and study it out, and it is right. not that difficult. And it, modernmana.org, we got all this stuff got, on yeah, vegetarianism, and, stuff and, and you're going to put these programs yes. on the website. Absolutely. But but nutrition is huge, and, yes. and 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 here's the thing I say to people too: to make it simple for you, eat rainbows, eat okay. varieties of food and colors. You know, yeah, the okay. rainbows, yeah. yeah. So you want the reds, and you want the purples, and you want the greens, and you want the oranges, and you want the yellows. Eat rainbows. So when you eat fruit, I eat a bunch of different colored fruit. Okay. In fact, I'll make a smoothie in the morning for myself, okay. and this is something people love. I'll take fresh apple juice. I'll throw in some sliced kiwi, sliced oranges, sliced bananas, sliced apples. I'll throw in some flax seeds. I'll throw in some, some pumpkin seeds and maybe almonds. And I whip that all up together. And, you know, I don't like it real cold and I don't like it lukewarm. So I throw in a few ice cubes right. just to, so it's cool, not too cold. a little chill to it as well. Just a little yeah, bit. Right, right. I don't want it cold. But <laughs> I take that and I chew my breakfast. Yes. I still chew it and mix it with the saliva. That's a very simple simple three-minute breakfast you can do to get all your essential fatty acids, all your essential amino acids, your phytochemicals, your fiber, your vitamin C, a wholesome. Wow. And I like organic. Yes. I, I read about organic, and I know there's people that try to argue organic, but for me, organic, it's much higher in antioxidant content, which are your cancer fighters. So now the next question. Exercise. Exercise. Now, so I want to tell you. <laughs> Let's since, go. So, yeah, so since you and, and we both of us love exercise, yes. um, but I, get, I just have to say this so the so the viewers yeah. can hear it and hear your answer, even I'm though they curious. actually know. So you you went from a meat eating diet years ago <laughs> to this plant based diet. Yeah. And you exercise, that correct? Yes. You exercise, absolutely. But you must be really weak because there's no <laughs> way you can be strong, not getting the protein, wow. not getting. And, and I don't want to get back into the diet. I want to go exercise. Are you strong? <laughs> can you exercise with weights? Is weight bearing exercise important, or just walking? What? How important is exercise? Well, let, let's let's let's. And we'll probably have to wrap up with that because we'll be out of time. <laughs> 
<laughs> let, let me talk fast. Okay. Let's undo first the misconceptions. Okay. I was a bodybuilder. I used to amateur bodybuilder. I won trophies.